All right, folks, Tommy Cow here on the lawn with Growing Green, and we are doing a tree and shrub application for scale insect. Also be going after some uh, white flies, mealybugs, silids, you name it, any kind of insect, aphids that may be attacking any of these plants. And I'll show you what we're going after here um, is scale. On these, there is a soft scale and look at all the flying, even white fly. There's probably some mealy bugs as well. I don't know if you can see that. We've got a lot of insect activity, even though it is late fall. Uh, what we'll be doing is a petroleum distillate dormant oil application. Actually, it's a product called TriTech. It's not like a cheap dormant oil. This is a little bit better. But what you can see on these leaves is a sooty mold. And the secretion from Look at all the insects are still active. The secretion from uh, the insects is called honeydew. It's a sweet substance, and it'll secrete from the from the insect in mass quantities. What happens is there's a number of different fungus that grow on plants: Capodium, Fumago, other ones like that. They're just unusual. And they're black. The mycelial growth you see there is it's a black substance. It doesn't really hurt the plant, but it can hinder photosynthesis. So what we're doing is we'll treat the insect. And usually what happens after you get your insect issue under control, as well as ants, because ants can actually farm these little aphids and other insects and encourage them to grow because they like to farm and actually milk the bug for the uh, honeydew so the ants will use it so an ant control program is also real important and he does have a pest control company doing perimeter treatments for ants but we'll get started here we've also got another issue with uh, a plant that's kind of prized in the back that is dying and I'm gonna give it a hoganics drench with Arbor Care fertilizer and see if we can't revive some growth as you can see this neighborhood here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. There's a lot of shade, so a lot of the insects that are up in these trees, sap is coming down, and some of this material is coming down and dripping on the plants, and you're getting more of that. Here comes the man, David Heisig, rolling up here on the job. and He'll be doing this, so, so let's get started, folks. We'll get this going here. All right, folks, so we're just moving around with this. There's a lot of tree and shrub on this property. And these hollies, the Burford eyes on the frame and the sides, and these large American holly or false dry holly, um, really, really infested with scale insects. Now, Dave's over here treating everything. Everything I'm treating with a specific product, Xylam for the scale insect. Some of it's armored scale and it's really difficult to control. Dave is doing a uh, dormant oil with bifenthrin on everything. See the shiny leaves. I love it after we do a treatment with the dormant oil or the Tritex. See how shiny those leaves look after they're treated. See these uh, magnolia leaves, they shine. They'll be protected. What that does is suffocate the eggs. Over the winter, the oil will cover them up and actually cause them to desiccate and dry out. They will no longer be viable. I'll take you back here and show you what Dave's up to back here. All right, folks. All right, folks. I want to show you a different type of scale insect that we're seeing here. If you can look closely on the branching of these auto lucan laurels and see how sick they're looking. They're really anemic. And that's from that armored scale that's on that foliage. And it's just devastating these guys. Just sucking the life out of them. So that's really gonna go a long way to help that. Action camera, action Jackson, action David. The robot. He's doing the robot dance. White flies flying out. Oh man, I really love the way that uh, petroleum distillate oil 
shines those leaves. Makes them look really pretty. Leaves are coming down. We got them all oiled up. Oil them up, Dave. <laughs> gotta be careful getting in on those windows. He's you don't want to get too close to them. Now we did a xylem treatment on all this as well for the scale. But now we're coming back with, you know, over the top of that with the dormant oil and the bifenthrin mixed in. And he's just getting good penetration. Getting that good penetration. I did. I soaked them with the xylem. Oh yeah, you're getting good coverage in there. These guys have really gone through some Serious stress, not just with the shade of this hemlock, but all this uh, scale. It's just been eating them alive. Now that's a that's a red tip petunia, and I don't know if it had gotten the entomorium leaf. It did have entomorium entomorium leaf spot, entomosporium leaf spot. Look at this big fosteri holly hedge here. Yeah, it's so densely compact, there's very little air movement in there. Moths are flying out, white flies, it's full of scale insect. Ah, they're just nasty. It's very little air movement. Look at that. Oh yeah, he's getting good penetration with that. Oh yeah. yeah. It looks like Christmas time, David. It's really beautiful. All right. All right, folks. So here I am at the uh, dead tree in question and looking at this thing. It is certainly dead. Uh, but the customer wants to give it a shot. And there is a little bit of living growth on the other side. But I, for the most part, this thing's gone. Uh, these are some hollies, as you can see more of a rotunda type holly and then we get down here we're looking at more of a needle point holly and this was a needle point holly so what tells me that this tells me is this drainage issue coming down that it's actually coming off of that patio and it gets beyond this first holly here and then the water starts to make its way down into this area now there's another retaining wall here so this guy's actually been protected where this guy's getting the brunt of all the moisture. So, you know, we're developing an anaerobic condition here. So that's pretty much what's going on. I'm going to do a drench with Holganics and Dynazone fertilizer, see if it'll revive. And, um, you know, you can see there's still a little bit of growth on it, you know, in a few spots. Actually, that is the uh, Rotonda Holly that has a little bit of life left in it. We'll see if we can't get this thing to revive. You know, if anything can do it, Hoganics can. All right, folks, we're gonna do a little drenching. All right, here we are. Here's the tree I just treated. As you can see, Dave's up here in the back and he's already treated. I can, no, I don't think he's treated that yet. He's getting in there and getting good penetration with that JD-9 handgun. And uh, really soaking them down really good. All right, Dave, looking good. I really like the way that dormant oil shines those leaves. Yeah, it's like a good indicator where you've sprayed. Look how these rhododendrons have set bud for next year already. Wow. A lot of azaleas, this is an old landscape here. Giant clear of japonica to go 20 feet tall. And he's got lots of big old growth azaleas back here. And dogwood. And uh, saucer magnolias. That's the more yellowish. A lot of regular magnolias. Look at these gigantic uh, camellias. Sasanqua. Big old crepe myrtles. It's a beautiful property here in uh, the old part of Winston-Salem, Buena Vista. I guess you could call this area Fairmont Road. But that's Growing Greens Tree and Shrub Fall program for you. I hope y'all enjoyed it. 
subscribe below if you like this kind of stuff and we'll be keeping you up to date on what we do here at Grown Green. All right, Tommy Cow from Grown Green signing out.